Hello and a very warm welcome to this Bitwig practice session. In this episode I talk about the um, FX tracks and uh, with Bitwig um, 4.3 there is a new feature that is called FX Send. And this is a very practical feature I would like to talk, but uh, let's get started. So today in higher resolution, but um, this is quite simple and um, I want to show you what this FX send is. So Bitwig changed the name of the effect tracks to FX tracks. So here was add FX track, add effect track, and now it's called FX tracks. And when you add one, this is called FX tracks. So the new thing about the FX tracks is that you um, can, that you have send knobs here. So that uh, those send knobs uh, you didn't have before. And this is a very um, handy feature because I defined here a polyson like this and normally you can um, send with this send knobs your polyson to uh, effect and I created one that with the new delay plus um, delay just a very simple I can send my uh, dry signal this one to the delay plus like this so and now the new thing is that I can click on the delay plus and on the delay plus I have a send knobs as well and um, one of the knobs itself has a different color it's a lighter than the other so you can uh, use that as well like a feedback maybe a little bit more but be careful be you hear it you get more feedback than and this can uh, get very ugly. So, but the interesting part is that um, you now can send this signal to another effect track, and this is new. And here I put the new convolution reverb in it, where I want to send the delay plus signal into it. So, um, just remember this sound. Polysend plus delay plus and this I send in the convolution reverb I can configure the amount um, of signal I'm sending to the reverb itself and this is really really a good thing because if i decide oh mm, my polyson the whole effect thingy is too much i can reduce with one dial in here with the delay because um, the first signal i'm dialing into the delay plus will be sent from the delay plus to the to the um, to the convolution reverb and um, if I reduce here the amount, everything will be reduced. So if I put it down, there is no reverb. If I put it up, there is delay and then the reverb. If I just dial a little bit less, so I have less delay and less reverb. And this is really a great thing. That's all I want to tell you about and uh, let me know how you like it. Maybe you have some interesting ideas how you use it. Please leave a, leave a comment. I always, um, I'm always happy if somebody is writing me. <laughs> so I see somebody is uh, so watching the videos and maybe find it helpful. And um, I would love to hear from you maybe your tips and tricks, what you're using um, or what's your workflow or something else. Or um, just ask me some questions. Maybe I can answer them. Or if not, I will tell you as <laughs> well. Doesn't help you, but yeah, let's be honest. <laughs> okay, so I hope I see you soon again in the next video. Um, yeah, have a good time. Stay healthy. See you. Ciao, ciao.